So he, so the devil has said, chop off her hands. We all know he's the devil now. The miller was horrified and answered, how could I chop off my own child's hands? Then the evil one, listen to the name change, evil one threatened him saying, if you don't do it, then you'll be mine and I'll take you yourself. This frightened the father and he promised to obey him. Then he went to the girl and said, my child, if I don't chop off both your hands, then the devil will take me away. And in my fear, I promised him to do this. Help me in my need and forgive me of the evil I'm going to do to you. What do you think? Also, psychologically, it's, it's, it's really a horrible uh, piece here of agree to be mutilated and forgive at the same time. It does question the word forgiveness, doesn't it? Like, what does that really mean? And why does that happen? And does it move the psyche or not? And again, what would you do if it was you? And if you were the father. So what he's saying is, and this is an important piece of all fairy tales and of life, I have to sacrifice you. Now, is he going to grow from this is another question. Does the father ever grow in the fairy tales? Does he ever change? We never know because he always drops out. And, and that is something that we would hope that the abandoning father realizes what he has done and can begin to repair. But it doesn't usually, it doesn't appear in many fairy tale stories. In fact, it doesn't appear. But there is always a sacrifice. And the hero and the heroine always have to make a sacrifice. And, and we all do. If we are really going to change, grow, develop, there's a huge sacrifice equivalent sometimes to our hands being chopped off. It's, it's hard. The other piece is that the sacrifice is that the father who doesn't have much, you could say backbone, self-agency, protection, love, says quite honestly, you do it. He says that to the daughter, you do it. So isn't that what an abandoning father does? He says, you do it. I'm not going to. I don't know how to show you love. I don't know how to be present. I don't know how to reach out my hands in a helpful way. I don't know how to support you. So you go ahead and do it because I'm not going to. And that is actually what happens time after time, family after family situation after situation, you do it. And then she answered, dear father, do with me what you will. I am your child. And with that, she stretched forth both hands and let her father chop them off. The devil came a third time, here's three, but she had wept so long and so much onto the stumps. They were entirely clean. Then he had to give up for he had lost all claim on her. The miller spoke to her. I have gained great wealth through you. I shall take care of you in splendor as long as you live. But she answered, I cannot remain here. I will go away. Compassionate people will give me as much as I need. This is a real leaving of the father's story. This is a real leaving of having been abandoned. This is an acknowledgement. You are not compassionate. I am going to find better people. This is a real actual decision that she now makes. She is no longer going along or passive. This is self-agency, certainly beginning, because she says she makes a decision. I am going away. Psychologically, it would mean I leave or trying to leave what you have put onto me. I will now go and find support for who I really am. And 
The other part internally is how much have any of us really left how we were raised, the story of the father, especially if he was not present. Because the non-presence and the abandonment makes the longing even stronger. So she tells us what to do. Go. You won't find it here. And even though he can afford now to give her what he wants to give her, that's not good enough. And it never is good enough, really. Because look at, she had to lose her hands. And uh, how would you trust somebody who was willing to cut off your hands? You can't. So she would not have grown there. And that's why the fairy tale can't end here, just because she's left. So just because our own process of leaving the family physically, we think we are psychologically different, on and on, we haven't really left. Because it's a bigger leaving that has to happen. So from the abandonment, we leave, but we carry some of that abandonment in abandoning ourselves along the way. Unconsciously, we always get to watch out for it. Mm -hmm.